Hello, today we're going to talk about vocoders and in particular vocal synth 2. Ableton has a pretty cool vocoder um, which is actually pretty easy to use but I really love vocal synth 2 and I'm about to show you why. Let's start by hearing my absolutely terrible vocals. Check it out. I imagine feeling so cold inside. Okay, so you don't want to want to hear more of that because that's not very nice. But the vocoder makes it sound much nicer. Let, let's just listen to the vocoder. So the vocoder starts when the MIDI starts, which is this channel here. When I'm losing control And I'm feeling Because our thoughts are so cold so it sounds a bit better. I mean, it's still a pretty bad vocal, but um, in terms of timing and stuff, but it's um, it's playing in tune with the track because it's using the chords of the track, which is the beauty of vocoding. Um, so how do we set this up? So I've got a my vocal on this track called 12 Audio, and I've just literally slapped the vocal synth VST onto this track. I've got actually before that, I've inserted an RX-7 vocal voice re uh, noise reducer because there's a lot of background noise on my mic. And then I've inserted a MIDI track and you can see here there's absolutely no effects or nothing going on in there. I've got the MIDI chords to the song. You just select the track with the audio. It will just send it vocal synth two. Just select the first routing option and that will send it to where you want it to go, which is the vocal track. It's that simple guys and girls. The other thing you wanna do is you wanna go into vocal synth, just make sure that it is in MIDI mode. By default, it's auto, which is cool enough, but MIDI mode is where you get the magic. So you just press accept. And so the rule, for me, the rule selling point, the thing that makes me really like it are these presets. So you have all these kind of cool MIDI mode presets that apply all of these amazing vocoder or polyvox or com whatever effects, but they're preset and they applied them to your voice, which is cool. So for example, we can just try this one here and have a listen. Now these are pretty CPU intensive, so they might crack up. So let me just press stop. The one I really like is one called Back Me Up because it sounds like a backing vocal. And that's actually the most obvious use case for a vocoder is a backing vocal just to give a bit more depth to a, you know, a pop song, really. When I'm losing control so let's hear it all together with all the instruments. You can add things like um, delay effects. Um, that's Vocal Synth, that's Ableton. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe because it just gives me a lot more encouragement to make these videos if you haven't done so already. So thanks a lot, have a nice weekend and catch you guys later.